Hey everyone, and welcome. Today, we're digging into a really fascinating corporate announcement from a company called Amplitech Group. They just dropped some numbers that, on the surface, look absolutely incredible. But underneath, there's a really interesting story about strategy, risk, and a huge bet on the future of tech. So let's get right into it. First off, just take a look at this number, over $11 million. That is the revenue Amplitech brought in during just one single quarter, the second quarter of 2025. And this isn't just a good number, you guys. For them, it's completely record-shattering. And to really put that into perspective, get this. The company made more money in just three months than they did in the entire previous year. I mean, that is just an explosive level of growth, no matter how you slice it. So yeah, this was by all accounts a massive, massive milestone for the company. Let's break down exactly what made it so special. The highlights here read like a dream come true for any growing tech company. We're talking record sales, of course. But they also became a global leader in shipping something called ORAN 5G radios. That's basically a more open, flexible kind of 5G tech. And a whopping 75% of their revenue came from that product line. Plus, they have zero long-term debt, and they just got added to four major Russell stock indexes. I mean, it looks like everything is going perfectly. But you knew there was a but coming, right? In every good story there is... Amidst all of this incredible news, something didn't quite add up. And that brings us to the heart of this explainer, the margin mystery. You see, tucked away in that glowing announcement was this one little phrase, lower than normal gross profit margins. Now, that's just business speak for saying that for every single dollar they made in sales, they actually got to keep less of it as profit than they usually do. So that's the big question, isn't it? If your sales are going through the absolute roof, why are your profits shrinking? Where on earth did all that money go? Well, it turns out the answer isn't a problem, it's a strategy. And it all boils down to a very deliberate choice, investing to win big in the long run. And we don't have to guess because the CEO himself, Fawad Makbul, spelled it out. He basically said, look, for a smaller company like us to land these massive top tier customers, we had to make a deliberate front loaded investment. They chose to spend big right now to get their foot in the door with the real giants of the industry. So what is a front loaded investment? It's pretty much what it sounds like. You take the financial hit early. You spend more money right at the start of a relationship to prove you can handle the job, lock in those huge long-term contracts, and really cement your place in the market. And these weren't just fuzzy, vague expenses. Nope, the company got very specific. We're talking one-time license fees, costs for setting up totally new production lines, even things like paying overtime to their workers and firing up their entire supply chain just to meet the crazy fast delivery schedules these new massive clients demand. Okay, so they spent a ton of money to land these big fish. But why? What makes these specific customers and this market worth all that upfront cost? The answer is all about the long game, targeting the tech markets of tomorrow. This chart pretty much says it all. Amplitech isn't just playing around in any old market. They're going after sectors that are projected to be absolutely enormous. The ORN 5G market is on track to be worth over $42 billion. Quantum computing hardware, over $9 billion. These are the foundational technologies that are going to power the next decade. So you see the goal here, right? Their strategy is to eat the costs right now so that down the road, they become the essential go-to provider for the infrastructure that will power our future. It's a classic long-term vision. But having a big ambition is one thing. How are they actually planning to pull this off? Well, that brings us to their key competitive edge, what you could call their powerful made-in-USA advantage. Amplitech is what's called vertically integrated. It's a fancy term, but it just means they control the entire process from start to finish. They design their own advanced semiconductor chips, then they actually make those chips in their own facility in Silicon Valley, and then they put it all together into the final products they ship out. It's all done right under their own roof. And this is where their strategy gets really, really smart. While a lot of their competitors are relying on complicated global supply chains, you know, with suppliers all over the world, Amblitech offers an end-to-end -end American solution. That makes their supply chain way more secure, and in a time when everyone's worried about national security, being a trusted domestic partner is a huge, huge selling point. So they've made the investment. They've got this unique advantage. But what about the money? What about the profits? Well, the company also laid out a very clear plan for the road back to profitability. 
Here's their guidance, what they expect to happen. They see revenues continuing to soar, hitting at least $24 million for the whole year. They expect those squeezed profit margins to bounce right back to normal, double-digit levels in the second half of the year. And the big one, they expect to hit overall profitability in 2026. This is their roadmap for turning that big upfront investment into real success. So the main takeaway here is this, the really hard, really expensive part of breaking in is done. Now the company's whole focus shifts from that initial costly deployment to scaling up with these customers and filling what they hope is gonna be a long, steady stream of higher margin repeat orders. Which leaves us with one final fascinating question. Amplitech made a really bold move here. They sacrificed today's profits for a shot at tomorrow's dominance in some of the most critical tech sectors on the entire planet. The question is, will this high-stakes gamble actually pay off? I guess only time will tell.